am Samantha Drinkwater, and I am here at the inaugural Leveraging Pharmacies for Rapid Diagnostics meeting at the Next Generation Diagnostic Summit. I've got Mike Klepser from Ferris State University and Allie Daring Anderson from the University of Nebraska here with me to talk about the future of point of care and pharmacies. So I'm going to ask Mike first, where do you see the future of this field? Well, thank you, Samantha. Well, first of all, I'd have to say that you know, we're at a really exciting time with point of care diagnostics, at least in the pharmacy arena. Uh, in that with this area is just really starting to explode. Uh, there's so much technology, there's so much uptake, there's so much opportunity that I think that within the next five to ten years you're going to see the amount of diagnostic testing in community pharmacies just I explode. Uh, so I think it's really incredible. I completely agree with Mike that that the number and the volume of point-of-care testing is going to increase in pharmacies. But I think we're going to change our focus a little bit. That is, we're going to add a component. I see us being a huge asset to public health, both from a surveillance standpoint and from a reaching out to difficult to reach populations standpoint. We have some stigma about being tested or screened for certain diseases that, that tends not to exist in pharmacies. And I think we've only begun to figure out how we can work with public health officials to help get people screened and, and hook them up with the traditional healthcare system that they are not really a part of right now. And so what would you say are some of the biggest challenges in achieving this? You know, I think some of the biggest challenges actually have to be, you know, they're, they're twofold. Uh, one would be legislative, uh, and the second would be patient perception. You know, obviously there are some state uh, barriers with respect to pharmacists being able to act on the results of uh, these various tests. Um, those are going to have to be overcome. Uh, and then getting patients to start thinking that the pharmacy is a place to go to get these types of testing, whether it's, you know, testing for influenza or, or, or strep throat, or if it's even for something in terms of general labs like renal function testing, thyroid testing, uh, things that are going to be used by the pharmacist to help manage the patient's medication therapy. And so I think those are two of the biggest barriers right at this point in time. I, I would suspect that legislatively, regulatorily, we are going to see differences amongst all of the states and jurisdictions. I, I think the barrier may actually be in our own creativity. I, I suspect that pharmacists have a much broader ability to do things than we give ourselves credit for. So creativity is, is going to be a part of it. And, and certainly the other barrier that I, I see is our inability as, I mean, we're, we're one of the primary healthcare providers. We are, but we don't get access to some of the electronic medical data that other people taking care of the patient do. And, and I think that one of the barriers is going to be making it easy for me to contribute to the patient's medical record and equally to get data from the patient's medical record. I, I may be repeating a test simply because I don't know that it's been done and neither does the patient. Those kinds of things we have to overcome. They're not difficult, but we, we have to be included in everyone's thought process to make that happen. So I'm going to throw you a curveball and ask you one more question. What would you say the goal of the pharmacy meeting is and what are you hoping to accomplish with each coming year? So I, I think first off, as we've talked before, that historically uh, players in the pharmacy field and the diagnostics field really haven't talked. They really haven't had a forum to come together and share ideas, share capabilities. And I think at least in the short term, that's going to be the huge uh, thing here is bringing them together, talking about what tests are available, you know, what tests are needed in a community pharmacy setting. I think that's, you know, initially going to be one of the big things. And then once there's that discussion, I think the big thing is going to be uh, the innovation, uh, developing new disease management models uh, that incorporate pharmacies in these point of care testing. And I really think it's going to improve uh, health care and uh, significantly reduce costs. What would I like to see from this meeting? I would, I would like to see people who can make a difference finally talking to each other. We have heard at this meeting, and I suspect that it will only grow in the future, that the test manufacturer 
and the drug manufacturer and the pharmacist who is essential in getting that drug to the patient for the right patient in the right conditions, all of those things. When we all work together, problem solved. When we all complain into the ether, then we have a wine cellar and we have nothing as a result that takes care of the patients. My goal is that we improve patient care and part of that's improving access, but part of that is making care much more rational, both from the healthcare system perspective, from the payer perspective, but from the patient's perspective. Right now we do things to them that they don't understand. And when pharmacists get involved, we, we tend to communicate with them better. So perhaps the patients will actually have a better understanding of their disease when we can show them the lab, tell them what it means, and tell them why we're doing what we're doing because of those numbers. That's my ultimate goal. Well, thank you, Mike and Allie, for taking the time to talk to us, and we will see you next year at the Leveraging Pharmacies for Rapid Diagnostics event.